It's time to rank up. This is just F0, right? Wait, so the only thing I have to worry about is this F0. Easy. Easy money. Easy money. Crystal Bond. Zenith Effect. Topaz Tiger. He a known fighter. Topaz Tiger. He a known fighter. One heart, please. Normal summon Amber Mammoth. Heart effect, pop the mammoth. Now heart, bounce the F-Zero. Just as simple as that, folks. Now, golden rule! It's time to get in there, Ruby. Ruby Rampage. Come on out. Rainbow Dragon. Griffin hits the field. And, uh, yeah. Howdy Crystal Conclave, it's Nashi, and today we hit Master Rank with Crystal Beast, of course, you know, Season 23, we did it, but we did it with Overdrive, baby, we're summoning Rainbow Dragon, no way, Nashi can do that? Bro, I've been doing that since before you were born. This here is Turn 1, 2 card combo, Rainbow Dragon. And then yeah, there's the new one, Rainbow Overdragon. But this time we hit Master Rank with it, let's go. Uh, different from the advanced build that I hit master rank with last year. But this is going to be with pure overdrive. Because what's neat about this deck is it can play kind of both sides. It can play pure combo or it can play pure control. It doesn't do both extremely well, but it finds a nice middle ground as like one of the best ways to play Crystal Beast, right? Because you do summon the flagship boss monster of the archetype, Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Dragon Overdrive. And it's a real treat to punch your opponent with 11,000. But more often than not, your opponent just kind of scoops before you get your damage in. Uh, but let's go through the card by card. We got the three Maxi, the Crystal Beast, one Amethyst Cat, two Ruby, one Emerald Tortoise, three Ash, one Amber Mammoth, one Topaz Tiger, three Eagle, three Sapphire Pegasus, two Fenrir, double Zenith, one Rainbow Dragon. So only one Rainbow Dragon because we're playing the Brick and Salvation, but I think Salvation just more than makes up for it. It's so amazing. And I think anyone would agree with me that one of the best Crystal Beast cards we have of all time. Uh, the ratios are pretty standard for an Overdrive deck. Double Ruby is nice for Golden Rule enabling. Uh, Triple Pegasus is mandatory. The Double Zenith is nice. If one gets ashed, you can search Rainbow Dragon on the follow-up. And it's also just an awesome beater. Uh, being able to summon two Zeniths back that are banished for Overdrive's effect is just insane. And we have the one goods, three Rainbow Bridge, three Crystal Bond, one Prosperity, triple Golden Rule. Prosperity, you're only banishing three, by the way, because you do need the materials in your extra deck. Prosperity targets include uh, something like Saryuja because you're not drawing for that turn. You can also do Cherubini Dugaras if you already have enough materials for the combo. You're also hitting stuff like Nightmare Griffin if you're not going to end up making it, or even Underworld Goddess. We also have one Necro Valley, one Pressure Planet Rate Soth. Uh, being able to pivot between these two field spells is super powerful, and I think we can't neglect the power of Salvation. Uh, even though we're not playing Advanced Dark, I think this, this card is just too insane to not take advantage of. Three Heart, double called by to stop those pesky Maxis, which this deck does have a problem with, but if you do get Maxied, you have a one card Baguska, so that's nice. Our plan B, ladies and gentlemen. Triple Awakening does everything for you. Uh, the Salvation, one Miracle, one Conclave. You don't play Conclave in the advanced version because it can't play as low to the ground, but this version you can play combo and control, so you can really pivot between the two if you'd like. We have, for the extra, one Overdragon, one Overdrive, one Dweller, one Chidori, one Baguska, one Dugaras for the rank fours, the one Zeus, this is also a prosperity target. We have the Cherubini for the combo, IP for an end board cross sheet for the combo. And this card is something that only uh, Overdrive decks can take advantage of compared to Conclave control, because Conclave can have as much combo potential as overdrive except the one key i mean you're playing stuff like golden rule and awakening but the one key difference is you're not summoning a free aggro card like overdrive 
but you're also taking advantage of cross sheep. So this gives you more link material to be able to craft your end board. Uh, looping Ruby more times than not is awesome as well. So Yuja, Griffin, Apo, Zelantis, and Underworld Goddess. So let's go ahead and hop into this replay. This one was off stream. Some of these games I grind off stream because, you know, your boys got to practice. But I made sure to save the replay. We have one of the brickiest hands you've ever seen. Uh, we have one starter, and that's it. Uh, I see sign up mining, I immediately ash because I'm pretty sure circular is limited in Master Duel. At least I could have sworn. Uh, I know it's limited in the TCG, but as far as Master Duel, I just want to keep people off circular access as much as possible. And they have circular access in Alumbertion, but if you Alumbertion before circular, it's much weaker. So they're going to go for it anyway. They have the, the extenders to make it happen. But I'm much more fine with this. Uh, ashing the circular to get, come off of super factorial is probably the better move because super factorial is one insane card and I do not appreciate it. They couldn't normal summon diameter so they dumped diameter off of circular uh, in order to give that extra negate for the super factorial which is crazy. Uh, heat soul draw one, draw phase, heat soul draw another and hopefully they don't draw hand traps. I'm gonna set this salvation so that the Laplacian sends it. A little bit of a bait. And then I'm just gonna hard golden rule. Summon Ruby and try and resolve as much as I can before they summon out that free negate and the super factorial. So this is too tasty for them to pass up a super factorial. I'm gonna go for it with the diameter as well so the Laplacian has the free negate. Ruby's going to special zenith and summon Sapphire Pegasus. I always crystallize a Zenith off of this Golden Rule in case Ruby gets negated. Then you can always Zenith effect to add Rainbow Dragon. That gives you access to Enable Awakening. They're going to send literally the best remaining card in our hand, which is awful, but no big deal. We got this. going to buff up their transcode, whatever. Normal Summon Emerald Tortoise, and the uh, strongest Normal Summon in the game, by the way. I'm going to link it to Cherubini. Put it, should have put it under this transcode. You'll see why later on, but it doesn't matter. We're going to activate Salvation Effect, try and Fiending the Laplacian, because the Zenith Effect is going to be more valuable here. Because uh, we want to add Rainbow Dragon, because we want to go for game. That's right, we're going to go for game through Super Factorial with a Diameter Negate. And luckily they don't draw any hand traps or else we'd be cooked. Absolutely cooked. Because of our Brick Hand. Now we're going to do Gara's Effect, bring back Sapphire Pegasus, Pegasus Crystallize an Amber Mammoth, and all of a sudden, check it out ladies and gentlemen, we have enough materials. Cross sheep. Bring forth Rainbow Dragon, gathering all seven crystal beasts, tributing for Rainbow Over Dragon. Cross sheep, special summon Ruby, Ruby effect. And it's all over from there. OTK with Overdrive through Super Factorial, baby. Let's go. So we didn't use Overdrive to go all throughout Master. Admittedly, through the first half of Master, we used good old tried and true Conclave control. This is my updated list. I'll show you guys a replay if you want, but nothing's changed really. I threw in There Can Be Only One because I wanted just a real blowout. Because uh, it's funny against Kashtira and Pearly. So, I hope you guys enjoy this replay. Enclave Control Summon Overdrive. Dude, if we have a Crystal Beast that's an ultimate crystal, I can't wait to summon Overdrive in Conclave Control. That's my dream. Because that's the biggest downside to Conclave Control is you're not playing the flagship, uh, the flagship Overdrive, right? legendary uh we're going up against pearly one of our worst matchups and this hand is okay i mean we have way too many crystal beasts in hand i mean foolish barrel goods representing another crystal beast we have one crystal spell of trap but that doesn't even represent engine really so not a good hand at all going into pearly but we'll see what we can make happen uh today i'm just showcasing brick hands beating the meta i guess <laughs> uh we're gonna Go ahead and drop for turn. A TC Boo! Yes! Now you're seeing it in action. Th this is the card that'll turn the tables. And they're gonna get their free draws off Sleepy. Four- okay, so... Four Sleepy draws off of the Yeep and the Noir. Uh, really infuriating. And we have to play against a Maxi. So we're going to... Goods for a Salvation. Salvation, we're going to add ourselves nothing. Because we get Ashed on our best card. Ah! How are we going to do this? Most players would scoop from this position, but we're built different here on the Neshi channel. Normal summon Pegasus, Giga Chad. 
Zenith effect, special summon another one. Activate Pegasus effect. We're gonna overlay. Baguska! They didn't do anything, so we're just gonna sit on Baguska. Noir only is unaffected by activated effects. Baguska is a continuous effect. So as soon as we get two level fours on the field and they pass priority to us, we're free to just slap down a Baguska in defense and what are they gonna do about it? We're gonna flip up the TCB before they can go for an Azalea and they're gonna just sit on their one Noir and be upset about it. And little, uh, also, check it out. Per Yeep effect, they're gonna try flipping it to attack. It's gonna go back to the extra deck because Per Yeep hit an effect. It returns it to the extra deck during the end phase of the next turn. Battle phase, Ruby in, Baguska in, main phase two, overlay for a Zeus. We have a Zeus with a floodgate all insulated by a counter trap. And we have a max C. What are they gonna do? We're not gonna max C right now because we have TCB. We're feeling good. They're gonna sleepy effect. Now we'll max C, they'll call by, it doesn't matter anyway. We're not gonna miracle that. Uh, Let's just draw the out against my TC boo. They're gonna Lily, they're gonna infip the Zeus in the same column as the TC boo. So we're going to Miracle, negate that. I think I was playing on my phone. Did I set that TC boo in front of the infip? I think I did. And I'm playing on my phone, which on my phone, I have it on automatic instead of manual. So when I'm just setting cards, I just, put that in front of the zone so honestly that was a bad move by me but you know we we miracle and we get over it they're gonna anima make sure you don't play into the anima zones uh and that's why i made sure to summon ruby i actually dragged ruby across to summon it to the far left zone to play around the anima i guess that wouldn't be a bad miracle either but they're gonna azalea and do all of this to pop the zeus of all things i don't zeus effect because you still have to play around the TC boo. Why did they go for the Zeus and not the TC boo? I don't understand. Top 10 questions science still can't answer. Smartest pearly player. Uh, anyway, etc, etc. I don't want to just clown on this guy. Anyway, we, we still have to win the game. And that gives us the game. Bridge for Awakening. Awakening. Reveal Rainbow Dragon. Add heart to hand. We have 15 searchers in the deck. We're going to get there. Pop Ruby for Golden Rule. Golden Rule, Special Ruby. Heart Effects, Bounce the Azalea. Zenith, Zenith. But there can only be one. Normal Summon Sapphire Pegasus. Bring back the Zenith. Miracle, Crystallize. For game, baby. Ruby, attack the Pearly with 300 attack. Yes, it's time. That's Conclave Control, ladies and gentlemen. Just to be completely transparent with you guys, too, I did play one true Draco game on the master rank grind so it's not completely crystal beast for master rank there was one true draco game against runic but you guys voted and said it was okay so and that was just for the proficiency test yes no judgment it's ignis heat skill drain when the skill is drained skill drain's gonna negate the hugin duster Destroy! Let's go! <laughs> yes! Yeah, that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I wish you guys the best on your Mashable Grind. Let's do this, pal. Peace.